G'day fellow fishers. Just tuning in again to show you my rigger setup. Um, poor man's rigger, pretty much. Uh, I made these for under $100, uh, which is pretty good. I uh, used them the other day for the first time. Uh, we didn't catch a tuna without them, so they're obviously doing something. I found when you're sort of going out chasing the tuna, the bait's spooking because you have to get fairly close to run your lures into the tuna. So I thought, bugger it, I need to get a bit more spread. So I thought I'd make some um, cheap outriggers to get me out there. And obviously they work. Like I said, we got three tuna the other day. We tried to them without them, um, just with the rods and the gunnel and had no luck as soon as we put the lines back on the riggers and got them out we were, we were catching them so um, basically all it is is i made myself a uh, folder out of uh, what is this, six mil angle iron um, and folded up a bit of two mil alley for the brackets uh, then just went to bunnings and got myself some 25 by two mil by three meter long lengths of aluminium tube um, got these stainless steel clips, carabiner clips, uh, one of the, I think two or three hundred pound snap swivel. Uh, that cork was just a marine um, key ring basically. Um, I couldn't get into spotlight to get proper cork balls but that'll do. I just drilled a hole through it, crimped them and that just stops your uh, weight coming down and hitting on your snap swivel and, and damaging it. So. I was making sinkers the other day and I thought how am I going to get some weights because I had some uh, mild steel tube and I tried using that for the weights but it just wasn't heavy enough so I ended up making up a bit of a jig and making these lead, lead weights which are a lot heavier and they work really well so I just put some stainless steel insert uh, in there, it's 12 mil. Uh, so pretty much all I've done is I've put Eyelets, stainless steel eyelets on the ends, I've drilled holes in them. Um, and then my carabiner on there as well. I've made it all adjustable so you're not tying knots. Um, in the line sort of thing. Uh, it's all nice and neat. And like I said, it was under $100. So pretty much the way I've got it done is I've got Velcro around my grab pole, grab rail. Um, so you just take that off. And I've got these handy little ratchets ratchet bloody duvalackies um, so you loosen your line off there uh, like that come to the front I've got another one this this one here is to prevent the um, fish when they pull on the when they grab the lure it doesn't bend your pole uh, and it seems to work really well so you've just got to take your pin out of here like so uh, push her out, rig her out. Come back down here and I've just got these these little clips down here, sun steel clips. You put your carabiner on that. Push your pole out. Actually you've got to adjust it to where you need it. Uh, as simple as just pulling that little lever. Out they go. And then just adjusting your, your uh, tensions really. Uh, so you want it to sort of come, where am I, like that, so you want that fairly tight, um, adjust, I replaced all the strings on this with uh, paracord, 250 kilo breaking strain, um, so it seems to work really well, and like I said, all that does is just stops, when the fish grab it, stops the, the pole ripping off, so that's it, she's pretty much the same on the other side really easy um, and like I said effective oh, I couldn't believe it I just sort of I was experimenting a little bit and I couldn't afford the sixteen seventeen hundred dollars for outriggers at this point in time so all right so this is it from the outside and it's pretty sturdy like uh, so the purpose of this for those who don't know is the weight will bring your line back in once the fish takes it and the rubber band breaks that'll slide back down and then you can hook back up again but pretty much you pull that out with your main line on it up to there um, 
So then you've got this onto your main line with a rubber band. And the rubber band snaps, that's the idea of it. So there's not much, you can't even move those poles. Um, yeah, so once that breaks, bang, that goes down. Your weight slides back down to the boat. Just like so. And then you're ready for the next one. Uh, it's not a bad system. Um, it seems to work all right. I haven't had any troubles with it, so. Um, you're getting quite a lot of spread now with these or three meter poles. Uh, obviously on an angle like that, you're not getting your full three meters, you're probably getting two and a half meters, but an extra five meters, and then you got two meter, two meters of the, or 2.2 meters on the boat. So a bit over seven meter spread now, as opposed to having the rods on the gunnel and the rod holders. Then I just made these stainless steel uh, rod holders, so it points me rod basically straight out here um, so it's not on a shit of an angle but that's it for under a hundred dollars you can't complain um, hopefully it helps a few people out and inspires a few to build their own but that's them I've never been much of a, um, a fisherman sort of thing I'm a shooter as a lot of people know but I'm getting back into my fishing now now I've got the boat so anyway, that's how it's done. Um, feel free to leave a comment in the in the comment section below. Uh, if you've got any questions or anything like that, I'll be more than happy to help you out. Now I'll just give you a demonstration of how easily it packs up without holding the bloody camera this time. Seconds, I suppose. Okay. Pretty easy. I'm happy with it anyway. Until I said, until I can afford to buy a proper one. But I want to build my hard top and everything on the boat first. So I'm going to tear it through and put a hard top on it. Uh, build a pod for the back. Cut this out with the transom and then move that right back to the end. So I'm gaining effectively another what, foot and a half, I suppose. And then when I put the hard top on, I'll cut all this bar work back, we'll take it right back to here, come up on the angle and do it like that. So I'm going to try and shape the cab sort of like a, um, a yellow thin boat. Well I don't mind with the surgeries but anyway, we'll modernise it a little bit anyway. So. We've got the poor man's outrigger set up. There's an easy solution. Uh, poor men's outriggers. Alright, cheerio. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.